guys, I'm here today to show you how to uh, make insane amounts of money with smithing, regardless of your skill level, how to get the materials efficiently, how to raise the skill really, really fast, and um, give you like the first light how it actually works. I can't give you all the answers because some stuff simply it's obfuscated. I don't. Where the only result is just looking at it, you can't understand it. You can only assume, right? So I'm gonna show you. This is from my current place, from day 208. I wanted to be more blacksmith, and of course that I found out a few things and cleared up some misconceptions that I saw before. Like a lot of people said, oh, it's so, "Smithing is so hard to raise." It's actually the easiest skill to raise that you can raise. Uh, maybe except with charming then, but I think even charming is harder because you have to run up to the lords and find them and shit. Smithing is easy to raise, even in the hundreds. Alright, so first the charm. When you create the character and you want it to be a blacksmith, uh, well, first, first decide do you want a blacksmithing or not. Right? If you don't want it on your char, I think you still want endurance because it's day and night having good athletics and riding or not. But um, well basically, make sure that every choice you make is a point in endurance. So you start your character with 8 endurance. You only get a set points every 4 levels, while you get a focus point every level, right? So filling the focus points is really, of smithing is really not that hard. It's You have it immediately. However, it, not every race is the same. If you, for example, drew the character as a Sturgeon, you will have 8 Endurance and no focus point in smithing. Well, if you do it here as a, a Batanian I am on this playthrough, I started with 1 focus point in smithing. Unfortunate, but, you know, we don't have to min-max to this degree. So as you can see, it takes about 24,000 XP for 1 bar, right? I will show you that you can actually still get several points at once in a single click. So first we start off, we go into the smithy. I have like prepared this a little bit so I can show you a couple of things. What will I show you? Well if I show you the tier 5 stuff right now you're gonna be ah, well I can't do that. So I'm gonna show you something tier 4, okay? And I'm actually gonna show it not even on him. So first I show you how much money you can make with it. Okay, this takes four fine steel and two steel and the charcoal. And I'm not even gonna smith it with him. I'm gonna do it with the worst dude I have. He has four smithing. Four. Now estimate a reasonable amount of money that I just made, that I should have made with these clicks. And then witness the truth. Every sword was worth 24,000. So right there we made 75,000. Pop, pop, pop. Enjoy. 73,000. Alright. But no smithing skill whatsoever. We only had to put pieces in place. Now there is something curious here. Not every part is equal, right? You would assume, oh, well... What could it be? Could it be the materials that he used? Tamaskena Tier 3, they both take the series. Do they give the same? No, they don't. This gives a lot of XP and is worth a lot. That is a lot less. I have not found a way to make this worthwhile and that even less. You can unlock everything, but as you can see, I still I don't have everything unlocked. I can't make a finished explanation on this simply because I still like the parts. So, but one trick to see is, look at the XP you're getting. Three skill points. That means that was worth 75,000 XP. Now here we are already in the abusive territory. If I don't change, if I don't change anything, I will keep going with this high roll. Like, I'm assuming that there is a roll hidden from you that determines, like enhances the value of the XP. So, but basically, 
if something is worth a lot of coin, it also gives a lot of XP. For now, as we are still raising the skill, we can see, okay, I got, I just got three skill points off of this. Let's keep going. Another two. Six skill points, you know, completely insane. Three. Two. So we have just raised it from 210 to 226 in a, a hundred stamina, which you refill in a day. How much money did we make? Man, I would have loved to see that sword that was worth six skill points. But here's also the reality, because we did not change anything, right? Everything is stacked together like this. It could have been a lot worse. It could have been a lot worse. So instead of, for example, oh, I can just show you. Man, that. <sighs> I guarantee you that thing that gave me six skill points. That was the most valuable sword I've ever seen. <laughs> it would have been easily 50, 60, maybe 100,000 gold. But since the game currently has problems with these uh, bonus stats and stuff, it is not something that we we will see at the moment. Um, maybe you should also know that if you plan on making like super rare gear for yourself, don't bother, because the bonus stats are still gone. If like you can craft it and it works, but if you then save and load later, the bonus stats are gone. I guess if you're not reloading a lot you could make like the swords. <laughs> Alright, we have loaded back in and we're forging the exact same sword. There's still also one thing I have not tested. Three skill points. I'm not just clicking like the pieces away like this. Okay, we should have like three to four different ones if that did something. Ah, we didn't, okay. So you have to use different parts. I like to go back to show you to always a clean slate so that there's you know nothing different I'm not I don't have more skill when I do like the second day and so on but you can already see that the difference was huge right that one sword alone was worth two sw uh, three swords from before so if you this is but kind of a gamble because okay I'm getting a lot of money there but it can also be different where I only get a fraction of the money and I'm trying to like now make this make this happen but I think I'm I think it's easier with this two-handed sword that I showed you before skip points worth a lot two skip points worth a lot so we s I can swap the handle to get two skips this dude is just too stable three skip points I think there's gonna be one that is worth a lot less. Yeah, there we go. See, you can already see. Okay, it goes from 17,000 to 22,000. Realistically, it goes from 4,000 to way over 30,000 on that particular sword. 
The, I sold this sword for 35,000. Like, I made one that was worth 35,000 once. I haven't been able to recreate it yet. And it's, it's exactly this one. If you're unsure what you have, you know, what you use, you can actually just look at it. That is the one. And that was worth 35,000. And it should be exactly like this one. See? It is exactly the same. But that is not worth 35,000. I think it depends either on the hidden modifier or also maybe if you get these plus rolls on it, it enhances it even further. Just like you saw the plus six sword, that thing would have been bonkers. But to get them listed like this, you need to swap uh, pieces. But if you're like a small little, if you start out, right, you don't have pieces to swap, for example, then you can go in and out of the screen. That said, there is something that you can do at the start that is less volatile because these let's be honest right these are kind of high level pieces it's also not how I started with what I started with was very a very very simple maze like I looked what was the highest shit I could do and I randomly had this here unlocked right and I had yeah this this is actually this tier 2 handle now this costs me 3 iron and the hardwood Anyone can make it, of course. And this is worth about 2,000. Of course, it's not 25,000, right? But you can make this at a profit. And you can make this as a profit easily because you can smell stuff that you can buy or you or even loot. Now, the best things, like, this is clearly abusive, right? I'm not going to tell you how to play your game. Either you do it or you don't. Keep it as reasonable as you feel it needs to be. But this Pugyu or this Thetan's Throne Daggers, they cost like uh, 50 gold, let it be 70 gold. And this one gives you f even fine steel, that was actually the weapons I created with, right? And they sell it like up to 100, I already smelted so many of them. Like, just smelt them in and you can make another like 100k again. Money is infinite at that point. Now for, but if we... This leaf blade throwing knife you could use, for example, this gives three iron, right? You smell one of those, boom, two thousand. But if you wanted less abuse, if you could, for example, take um, here, this star falchion, it costs, I think, two thousand a piece, and gives you enough to craft two of them. And now here, to, so that you can see, it should be about one point eight k. And that is more, it, it will not be volatile. About, oh yeah, 1 3, okay. Still, this is how you then start out to make profit, right? Once you can buy something from the market, smelt it, and make profit, you're basically already infinite. And then it's just a, well, you're trying to get the better stuff, of course, but until you have it, you do it like this. So that was the very first thing I crafted. And then the second thing I crafted was a two-handed axe. Here, here, this is, for example, the system in place again, right? Not all pieces are the same. This is a bad axe for money. This is good. Let me, let me quickly show you who has the stamina. Good. Bad. Was six six thousand, I think, one of them. Yeah. Oh, it didn't take the name, but this would have been called good, and this would have been called bad. <laughs> right. So, so don't worry too much about it. Try it out. If you don't like the result, I mean, you could do like a session where you test stuff out and then you reload it, you know, or you could just simply. It's not really wasted, right? You almost get all the materials back. Let me quickly do an X. This one costs you one fine steel and one steel. And this will give you back, I think, two steel. This is the one. The other one is a bit more expensive. Gives you a bit more. You always lose, like, one of the highest to have. Um, let's quickly make the tier 5 
Five Sword. That we all have come to love. And as you can see, it uses three Tamaskene and three Fine Steel. melt it we get two tamaskene and four fine steel like the highest is downgraded so so we're literally what we're really losing is one fine steel and one fine steel to get it back what does it cost us that is a single click on another here that's so two steel and we could have it back two steel or you know like four iron and so on but realistically Everything up to fine steel is free, and then Tamaskene doesn't cost cost a lot either. Now to the actual character build. So I've covered, I've explained to you how to make lots of money. That you need to experiment. That not all parts are equal. And now don't don't try to get exactly the pieces that I have. I'm very sure there is many many more pieces that are worth a lot that I don't have yet. Craft, look at your XP bar, try your best, you know, like, and once you see something gives you a lot of XP, you have your money maker. And even that two handed axe, you know, that is only worth 6,000, it gave a lot of XP, like, it was giving me two to three level ups. Of course, I wasn't as high then, but I could tell by the XP that this was a money maker already, I didn't have to go into the trade all the time. Because, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. How to start it all out would be maybe a good thing to explain, right? How you start it out is with them. Um, for some time, it's with tournaments. Best region, by the way, also for for smithing and shit, I found is here Batanian, and it also happens to be the best region for tournaments because these tournaments are the fastest. Like, okay. Here, this is for smithing, this is useless, right? But if you're starting out, you, you bet on yourself, and then instead of 165 gold, it's you just bet 150 and you get 600. You do this every step, but not every step gives you 600. And you want weapons. You don't always get weapons, but if you don't get the weapon, then at least, at the very least, you get money, right, that you need at the start as well. Uh. 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 I'm here half asleep. In these uh, rounds where everyone is there, you don't even need, need to win. All you need to do is survive until it's only two minutes left. You want to hitting each other. It's a lot faster. After you have won, you go back into the uh, arena. Go to the arena, because the moment you finish one, you can also leave. By the way, if you don't want to fight for horrors, just leave it. It terminates, like it. Someone is gonna win it, and then you ask him where to go. He says Seonon. All right, sure. Oh, where is Seonon? It's right around the corner. It's not here. Let's see. And then we do Seonon. It might even send me back straight to Mahuna. It sometimes happens. But if I go to Seonon, it usually is going to say Danglanis. And then Danglanis is going to tell me Kabanse and the one at the bottom pen something. The arena. Shadow tournament, yes. Helmet. You don't need to do it, but also you learn the groove.
X to an X, unlike the other to an X, can cleave through. So that's the advantage. While this here, a sword has a, a nice um, sweet spot to aim here, unlike the X or the long reaching glaives. X can cleave through several people at once. I think the biggest hit was like into two and a half or something. And always swing, swing, because the AI has a habit of trying to swing after it was hit. It's not allowed. Yeah, same thing, right? Auto arena. And I wish they would give me a weapon. Like Geta and Barcha. Usually makes me go the circle, but um, yeah. Throwing knives are superb if you want to get materials for very cheap. If you want, like, the 70. The southern ones are already missing because I just bought them. I can't show you them, but they're the same price. They're regional in different regions, they're called different, like the Pujion that I have. And um, well, instead of buying your first caravan and shit, what you really should buy is. I should have told you how to get your first recipe, like your first unlocks easily, is by smelting a single high tier weapon. Of course, that is something I can't show you right here because I already have many of them and I'm higher, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna be the same. But when I first like smelted all the weapons and then I also bought, um, no, I actually smelted the weapon of my woman, which was the. I can drive around and look for it real quick, which is the city I'm rarest at. Ah, it's different, but it was the price was around fifteen thousand, so basically what you would buy a workshop for, but it was worth it. it gave me the base, and with that I had infinite money. Just save before you do this, you know. If you're unsure, you will see my craft shit everywhere. And they don't have anything because I fucking buy it all because it doesn't even matter anymore. You know, I bought it all for testing purposes and now it's all gone. <laughs> now we don't mind that the tutorial is like a bit longer. But at least you have seen it all, you've understood. Axes. I didn't have good results with axes. I didn't have good results with um, holes. Look for sword, two-handed sword. That's it. And I think the very the the very reason is just because they are made from more parts. But that is like for something else, for someone else to figure out. This is just a playthrough for me. And like I said, I saw a lot of people refining until they become retarded right this is how some people level it they're just buying and buying and buying and refining charcoal when they could be leveling it like in huge jumps and emptying entire cities out of their capital so I hope that was helpful for you to say it all in very brief not all parts are equal even if you do not touch the slider, I have not found a single piece where making it bigger or smaller was worth more. It was usually worth a lot less. Not all parts are equal. Find, select, scan your parts, see which one is the most worth it. Don't try to refine everything. Try to do it with parts as long as you can, but you're gonna run out of parts eventually to buy. The markets are not as fast as you because simply if you're with five companions, your stamina refills super quick and you can just hammer and hammer and hammer. That's about it and then get rich. Uh, if you know, There will be one bottleneck at the start where you, um, you won't have a lot of Tamaskene and it's also gonna be hard to come by. So don't sell these swords smelt them back right so you use three you get two back and the next item you find you craft two and then you craft another one and that way 
because also the smelting the Tamaskene pieces that you craft also give you a better unlocks. Right, this, uh, this is something I should have covered, but I didn't. I just told you, well, buy high level pieces. You are the one making the high level pieces once you have your first one. Just one more time. Maybe this one is already enough? No, nah, it's no good. So we're forging quickly. What you are getting unlocked is random and has nothing to do. It's not what you, what you get. have to trust me on this those high level crafted things they give you a lot of shit as well but once you're ready the, I think the more you have the slower it goes for some reason and it's not exactly clear every time what you're actually unlocking but nothing for this or at least maybe for two handed Uh, some of the pommels and grips are the same for both sides. Oh, this is, I don't even know what I unlock most of the time. Oh! One moment. That harpoon. And we have to test. Quickly. Ah. Oh yeah. That's worth a lot. The only reason I knew this is because, um, where is it? Uh, maybe you saw it earlier in the video. They were trying to sell me th these javelins. Come on. Wait, you have these two, three minutes. Where is this? Where did I see it? I think I saw it in Marunat. If you are like, if you're wondering what parts are worth a lot, look at the stuff that they are selling and that is worth a lot. Where did you hide it from me? Ah, let me go to Siona before I go all the way down there. But I know for a fact that these Yapoons that they were trying to sell me earlier for 40,000. And I recognized that piece simply. Be fucking kidding me. They were here. Go there. I would grab simply grab myself a cigarette. You're calling it, it's in Zionica. And uh, otherwise I've wasted your time. But you will find it in your playthrough. You will find these fucking javelins that are worth twenty to forty thousand or that they will try to make you pay twenty to forty thousand and then that is that very head that I used. That is why I instantly gained two fucking experience on that char that is not built for it, you know, because it's worth a lot, a, a lot. But it was like a, a stick and a piece of metal for five thousand. That's like easy in for the money right there. Again, abuse the game as much as you wanna. I'm not judging you. I know many cheat and and ban a lord straight up and give themselves infinite money. You don't have to. You can earn it. There! Now if we can find that very stick, we might even get closer. That's the very... I don't think that's the same, is it? it has this silver lining. No, 
not it could do this the same I think okay, okay but now for example we know for fact that head is worth a lot so we need more crafts obviously so we go javelin now poor head is worth a lot we already added this so we can we can try it also with this Then we add this. Ah, that was not so much. Two skills. Okay, let's see. And as you can see, at the moment we are getting lots of some skill points at once, we are also unlocking parts. A fine steel. Oh, yeah. Alright. You get it, right? It's half an hour, I'm sorry. I'm not shortening it down. I'm just giving you this. It is. I hope it helps you.